America is a land of immigrants, and all are welcome. The thesis here is that the United States should eliminate all restrictions on immigration from all countries. Uh, the main points that I am going to focus on today are A, that immigration fuels American ingenuity is bred while overcoming adversity and excelling through obstacles. Our history and, and B, our history and resilience are a testament to immigrant success. The U.S. having a welcoming nature and willing to accept any and all promotes the message of our nation. Naysayers will put out there that <clears throat> um, immigrants are invasive and with too many immigrants we wouldn't be able to sustain uh, the environment and our, our economy. And exactly the opposite is true, where um, almost 25% of our workforce is from immigrants, and that just bolsters the economy. It, it actually builds more jobs as uh, more intuitive and um, different thinking comes with that. <clears throat> uh, so first, immigration fuels America. Ingenuity is bred while overcoming adversity and excelling through obstacles. So the main point here is that immigrants make America a better nation. Um, immigrants create technology and advancements within, uh, you know, that, that uh, put the U.S. back up to the front. Evidence of this, uh, according to the Pro vs. Cons website, is Elon Musk is the prime example of the rags to riches billionaire and U.S. immigrant success story. Elon was born and raised in South Africa and later moved to the U.S. and became a naturalized citizen. In fact, Elon Musk has three citizenships to South Africa, Canada, and the U.S. Second, Immigrants bring money to the U.S. This is according to The Balance. Studies suggest that while some jobs are taken, the most likely scenario is that jobs are actually created. This is what I was referencing earlier against the naysayers that say, oh, you know, immigrants take all of the U.S. jobs. <clears throat> In a 2020 study, Azule et al. Uh, said that immigrants are 80% more likely to become entrepreneurs and create jobs for people in the country. The most immigrants of working age are moving to the new country to find jobs, and that creates jobs, thus having a positive impact on the labor force. An increasing number of immigrants have higher level degrees, which can help increase innovation. Immigrant people make up 18% of the labor force that is 25 years and older, hold 26% of science, technology, and engineering, and STEM jobs, and hold 28% of high-quality patents. So we're back to the ingenuity and creation. 28% um, 20, uh, of high-quality patents. <clears throat> B. Hardships leading to seeking a life in America drive innovation. Um, people that are coming from uh, other countries, they're coming here for a reason, and it's because they're hoping for something better. So they're driving innovation based on uh, hardships. After leaving behind a suitable life in Russia, Sergey Brin developed Google with co-founder Larry Page, while they were both PhD students at, at Stanford where they filled their dorm with inexpensive computers and work, work, worked. <laughs> when their search engine became popular on campus, they decided to drop out and start Google in a garage. Um, that's just another impressive example of somebody coming from another country and becoming, I mean, everyone that we know uses Google. <clears throat> C. The lived experience of immigrants bring new vision and direction to the U.S. Here's another study. In a study conducted by the American Economic Review in 2014 that examined the effect of Jewish immigrants fleeing Nazi Germany, it would seem that there was a significant increase in fields entered by immigrants of a whopping 30% of patents by domestic inventors. This is accredited to the contact between foreign-born and native investors having the opportunity to share and collaborate. Again, that's by the American Economic Review, saying that um, 
30% of patents by domestic inventors were influenced by foreign-born and native investors. <clears throat> Let's get into the second main topic, which is our history and resilience is a testament to immigrant success. The U.S. having a welcoming nature, willing to accept any and all, promotes the message of our nation. Um, any non-Native American in the U.S. is a descendant of immigrants. Uh, our ancestors migrated here. According to Forbes, many, uh, many refugees are from war. You might not recognize their names if you're not a scientist in the field, but Severo Ochoa, Albert Einstein, Ben Franklin, Hans Bethke, Francisco Ayala, Alexander Graham Bell, Warner Von Braun, Niels Bohr, David Ho, Enrico Fermi, and Edward Teller were all immigrants that have changed the course of our history in America. The telephone invention, Albert Einstein, E equals MC squared, Let's talk about um, ingenuity and and uh, thank you, thankful that they were you know part of America at the time that they developed those. <clears throat> Two, the Statue of Liberty welcomes any and all as a beacon of hope. Uh, the evidence starts with what's written on on the Statue of Liberty itself, and the Statue of Liberty. This is the Statue of Liberty represents many things. Among them, friendships between nations and freedom from oppression. Before air travel, ships would sail into New York Harbor and Labor Lady Liberty would welcome their passengers, many of them being immigrants traveling to the United States for the first time. Lady Liberty is one of the first sights when sailing into the harbor and she is a symbol, symbol of freedom. <clears throat> Natives of the U.S. were willing to help immigrants survive. The importance of that is that um, the natives of the country were willing to help outsiders, which was us, and eventually we ruined, you know, like devastated the, the Native American people. And so just to share that kind of, um, that, same, that same character. Um, when the first British settlers mostly Puritans arrived in North America for the Plymouth Colony. Half of them died of starvation. Native Americans taught them how to grow vegetables, other plants, and they helped them obtain food. A year later, it is thought that the settlers shared their first harvest. So let's, we want to try and get back to those kind of, um, that kind of uh, nation where we're helping one another and going out of our ways to make sure everyone is included. In conclusion, immigrants better the U.S. and help us reflect an empowered nation. Removing all restrictions to immigration can lead the U.S. back to the front of ingenuity and as the number one world power. Um, it's just important to note that the United States has always been a welcoming, all-inclusive uh, nation and to continue that is what you know it sets apart the US as a uh, as a democracy and and bolstering our our status as a great nation that's founded on democracy uh, is really important and so thank you and I hope that you all agree that allowing removing all restrictions to immigration can lead the US back to the number one superpower.